passion. Let me get in touch, you bam. What's going on everybody, it's your boy Dontavious and I hope you guys are being safe, doing great things wherever you are in the world. I say the same thing every intro, but I mean, the vibes are consistent, you feel me? We have a consistency level of good vibes here on the Dontavious channel. Uh, I'll say this first, if you guys haven't already, please join the Discord, it's really fun. Uh, we do streams on there that we can't normally do on YouTube. Uh, a lot of people over there are 200 plus members, have a good time, talk about youth with you in the nine and all the good things. But in this video, we're going to talk about Snow Kong, uh, trainee, um, and Youth With You now debuting with The Nine. And Snow Kong has had our history uh, with debuts and careers and all these good stuff. There's a siren in my background. But just like uh, the Luke Cardon video, I'm going to go through a couple of topics here in this video, her characteristics, her appearances, a little bit about our history, uh, what I personally love about Snow Kong, and then my favorite moments uh, with her in Youth With You in the stages. Uh, only three, of course. Uh, with her characteristics, her stage name is Snow Kong. Um, I was calling her, her that for a little while. It took me a little while to learn her birth name, her real name, uh, Kong Sha'ar. Uh, it took a little while for me to learn everyone's Chinese names. Her birthday, uh, April 30th, 96, currently 24 years old. Birthday just passed. Happy belated Kong Sha'ar. I'd love to see it. Astrological sign, if you guys care about that, it's a Taurus uh, and she's uh, five foot six or 168 centimeters. So she has princess bangs, very pretty. People, there was a trainee that when she when Snow Kong walked in with Shao Teng Shao, she was like, man, she looks just like a doll and that's just pure facts. You know, she has like this elegant, just pristine look about her, very, very feminine, you know, very beautiful her skin's fair you know akin to snow you know it's gorgeous and it, it glows brightly when she's on stage and then you know when she's doing cameras and uh, photo shoots and you know all the good stuff probably look amazing in music videos as well i actually saw lady b's video with snow kong and she looked amazing dazzling and i can't wait for her to do some music videos um with the nine and then also her expression she has a lot of passion you can tell she loves what she does uh, and she does it very well and i think to me she's personally um, a, a good runner to be a visual um, my opinion right there next to a Kiki's in terms of appearance Snow Kong 10 out of 10 would recommend uh, for a girl group here she will fit the nine in personally in terms of that a little bit about her history though uh, she is a JYP trainee from 2012 to 2015 uh, she left the Korean company the Korean entertainment company and then joined and debuted as a member of the Lady Bees in uh, 2016 uh, she then left that group later on joined Mountaintop Entertainment uh, with uh, Xiao Xiao Tang they went and joined uh, Youth With You too. you guys know the ends story of that we love to see happy endings um people were saying how it's, it's difficult for people from the same company to debut um but i was kind of saying in the middle of the season that you know the, the rate that things were going you know i would it would be it would feel right if both Xiao Xiao Tang and Snow Kong uh, Kong Sha R um, debuted together or debuted together and then also in Lady B's she was with uh, Louis Sheen in that group as well so Snow Kong has a little history Kong Sha R does with uh, Louis Sheen and uh, Xiao Xiao Tang what I personally love about her in terms of like her characteristics uh, she always aims to be better she never settles she always wants to improve her own abilities she doesn't just stay in her comfort zone you know what I mean like she don't she doesn't just stay a lot of girls in youth with you kind of just didn't want to break off into other things. Uh, Snow Kong uh, luckily is an all-rounder. She can do many, many things, dance, sing. She can even rap a little bit. Um, she's just really good and she's really stable in, in all those regards and then also visually stunning. So an all-around package. Another girl, when she walked in the beginning of the show, was saying, you know, in, in addition to her being a doll, another trainee said she is an all-arounder. And then also in the play performance, there are girls, you know, chanting her name, Kong Shaha, Kong Shaha. So she has a history uh, with a little bit of everybody, a little bit of fans, a little bit of other trainees and programs and, you know, all the good stuff. And we love to see that with her um, but of course with all that history and people knowing you you're gonna have that means that you've had you know things that you went through and for her she's had a little bit of adversity in her career you know she was um, people dubbed her uh, you know twice cooked pork or twice cooked meat or whatever the saying is and it's saying like she kind of went through the system a couple times failed a couple times and you know she was kind of didn't getting down to herself but youth with you kind of provided the opportunity for her to kind of redeem herself and man did she do that she day de she's debuting with the nine we love to see that progress we love to see happy endings uh, for this in this case a happy beginning another thing i love about her uh, in addition to her career adversity as she went through those things with her career ups and downs and tri trials and tribulations she developed relationships and bonds with some of the girls that she went through there and luckily and fortunately no well, not fortunately just an addition a benefit to that she gets to do this with xiao xiao tang and louis shin together uh, she has a great relationship with louis shin there's a couple of moments in the show uh, where her and ex-queen you know have they just you can just tell they they really really care about each other and you know we love to see that and of course um her and xiao 
Chowteng, you know, they have that bond coming in from the evaluation from, from the same company. Uh, you know, they have the same vibes and they're just chilling and uh, they have great chemistry together. And I think with that kind of, uh, you know, chemistry with these two girls and then also she developed relationships with the other girls as well, it will kind of ele elevate her. And that's important because Snow Kong, Hong Sha Ar does really well when she has great teammates around her. She flourishes when she has people that root for her and, you know, you know, and support her. She's all the more better. There's nothing wrong. You need, you know, other people to, to lift you up when you feel down. And I think she, um, you know, gets the energy, the good vibes from people around her to be better in herself. And we love to see that. And then in terms of her vocal, she's very flexible. As I said earlier, very flexible, very stable. Uh, came out with the fire and play performance. Love to see that. And it also shows with the vocals in uh, Ambush and All Sides too, which personally, uh, that revenge stage was one of my favorites. Vocal, dance, sing, visual. I mean, she really has it all, all you want uh, in a girl, in a girl group. Uh, and then going on to stage moments, man, play. Play was one of my favorite stages when I was first watching the show. Of course, everyone, you know, goes crazy over An An Chi and her and her moments in there. The other girls in there were all amazing. Kang Sha oh, she set the tempo when she came out with the flames, pure, pure flames, pure energy, dancing, and just boom, explosion. Love to see that from the gate. It kind of set the tempo for the show for me. Kind of got me hooked in that play performance, and then Kang Sha oh, started it all. Um, so thank you <laughs> to Kang Sha oh, It's kind of, you know, hooking me in, uh, for lack of a better words. And then also in that play performance, pure vis purely visual visually stunning, amazingly gorgeous. I can't come up with all the adjectives and good things to say about it because I wouldn't do her justice to kind of try to put labels on exactly the way she was doing on stage and how amazing she looked. Um, but she'll be able to take that energy, uh, that that all around characteristics and then also her visuals into the nine. And that will again, flesh the group out very, very well. Uh, with Ambush on All Sides 2, Revenge is my second favorite stage for her. A leader confidence vibes was just and when I say second stage, I don't mean like in order, just like a second of the third. There's only three that I'm picking. Um, but Ambush and size two revenge stage. The reason I picked the stage is because she had a vote of confidence because she was she chose to be leader. Of course, you know, Lucian was like usually, you know, Luke Kong Shar needs to have good people around her. Typically she doesn't lead. She did show it very well here in this stage. And uh, and I think that kind of shows her character. She had a great character development in the entire show. Uh, ups and downs, really, really confident, you know, and then she kind of like went down a little bit in confidence because she was having some bumps in her road, you know, kind of akin to her career. Um, and then Lisa, you know, kind of gave her that mentorship, kind of built her up a little bit. And then uh, Lisa kind of gave her that vote of approval uh, going into non-daily non reverie in the later stages. And we love to see that for Kong Shaar. Um, but Ambush Nala Sides too, she definitely showed me a lot of confidence uh, that she uh, was kind of lacking again. But I think her being around good people again kind of helped her out a lot in Ambush Nala Sides too. And that is one of the more legendary stages even though it wasn't an actual stage, it was just a training room revenge battle competition, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we still, you know, love to see that. And then a non-daily reverie, center dominance. So as she showed kind of like all of her all around this in play, and then her leadership capabilities and confidence and ambush and all sides too, and non-daily reverie, pure explosion, dominance and center position. Love to see that you had a lot, a lot of good girls in that girl group. I can't name them off the top of my head, you know, but a lot of good girls, you know, Kiki, Esther, Xiao Tseng Xiao, um, you know, just just to name a few, but uh, for Snow Kong to be a sensor, you had to definitely show out and, and, and uh, make a name for yourself here in that group. Um, but again, for Snow Kong and Kong Sha are in a center role in that song. Yes, yes. So it kind of shows that she does have some capabilities uh, to be center and have a really dominant, you know, explosive, explosive role in the nine groups when they go on stages and have tours, concerts, and all the good things and all the good lots that we love to see. Um, but, you know, she has it all, man. Kong Shara doesn't really lack in a lot of things. She can always get better, of course. Um, but uh, I think the base that she has and the, 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 the ups and downs of her career and then uh, the ups and downs in the show and then her final, you know, product, her final form, if you will, um, a la Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> she is you know she's definitely you know up there she's so strong now and i and i can't wait to see her you know super debut with the rest of these girls that's been your vo uh, video for kong Shaar, uh the nine member uh rank eight uh from the show love to see it i'm really excited for it um well you know i think that the nine has a very large versatile group a, gr a group of girls with a lot of skills a lot of, um, you know, a lot of traits that can definitely be, you know, put in different positions and, and songs and stages. Uh, so it won't be an issue for this group to try to figure it out uh, and make songs as amazing and as beautiful as possible. And Kong should be right there to be an amazing component in that feat. 
So uh, anyway, it's been your boy Dontavius. Be good, be safe. Again, join the Discord. Have you already? Uh, the description has the Discord link. Uh, we do a lot of fun stuff in there. Um, and I hope you guys continue to watch the videos. I'll be making uh, a video about Shao Shao Tang tomorrow. So it's kind of like a swift, cool transition from Kong Shao R because they come from the same company. Um, but it'll be a fun video to watch. I can't wait to research more about her and learn more about her. Um, but anyway, it's been your boy Dontavius. Be good, be safe. Have great vibes. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. A scattered dream that's like a far-off memory. A far-off memory that's like a scattered dream. I want to line the pieces up. Yours and mine.